Hello guys, so as you can see my other hotspot has a Wi-Fi modification on it, you can't see it too well. Uh, and it has an antenna, um, that's because it's right next to a window and the signal is pretty difficult to get through into the house. So I added this antenna. But I want to see if it's really working because my other hotspot which doesn't have an antenna also does connect to the router as well so I want to see if actually adding this antenna really helped and I want to show you how you can do that too. So here is one of my hotspots this is uh, the modified one um, but if I open the command prompt and connect to my hotspot through SSH I can run a very simple command Network Manager Command Line Wi-Fi uh, and this will show me the connection to my Wi-Fi and how strong the signal is and this is the Wi-Fi access point SSID that we are connecting to and uh, the signal strength is 52% so it's not too bad but it's a reasonably fair distance away and it's behind a window so what I want to do is open another command prompt and connect to my other hotspot which I have the IP address for which is SSH root at dash p Okay, we are in. So, if I type in this same command on my new hotspot, nmcli v Wi Fi, we will have an error and it will say network manager is not running. Okay, so we would then normally start the network manager service. So, system control. Start Network Manager and we can see then it says that it's failed to start the Network Manager service and the service is masked so we have to unmask it first so then we do again system CTO unmask Network Manager. Okay, so it sees here that it's removed the Network Manager service, but it's nothing to worry about. So now we need to start the Network Manager service. But the thing is, is when you do that, the hotspot will disconnect. So what you'll need to do is wait a few minutes and then restart the hotspot, wait for it to come back, and then we can carry on. So let me start the service again. So, start network manager. So now uh, the hotspot will have disconnected from me. So in a moment I'm going to go and restart the hotspot and I will come back here. Okay, so we're back and we can see that the connection had been reset. So let's get back in. if I entered the password correctly good so <clears throat> let's just move this up here and we can type in now our command D Wi-Fi okay so now we can compare the two hotspots to see if they are to see if one is better than the other so same connection here is 45% and on here it's 52 that's really good so actually let's just run it again yep so the connection on these the hotspot without the modification is 
and the hotspot with the modification actually is 52%. So that's a 7% increase in Wi-Fi signal. So that's that's pretty good. So the actual so actually the Wi-Fi mod works. Check one more time to see if it's refreshed. It's 45 still. 50. Yep, so it ranges between 5 and 7% increase in uh, Wi Fi signal reception. So that's really good. So if that's something that you are having a problem with, the Wi Fi mod will definitely help you. You will get a increase in the signal. So this is how you can check to see if your hotspot has a good connection to your router and if not uh, you can make the modification too. Anyway guys it was only a short video so I will see you on the next one.